Between NCIS and Bull, Michael Weatherly has become a mainstay on audiences' screens, leading to him being one of TV's most recognizable faces. But even with all the time they spend watching him, how much do fans really know about Weatherly? This is the untold truth of the actor. During a 2012 visit to CBS This Morning, anchor Gail King reminded viewers that Michael Weatherly played the roommate of Theo Huxtable on a 1991 episode of The Cosby Show. As Weatherly recalled, his manager represented the actor initially cast and suggested Weatherly as a replacement when the other actor landed a movie and was no longer available for the sitcom. Weatherly went on to say, She called me and said, Get out to Queens, you're gonna meet Bill Cosby, and if he signs off on you, you're gonna be working this afternoon, they're taping. He added with a laugh, I did okay, but they never invited me back. It was a one-shot deal." In a subsequent interview with the New York Post, Weatherly revealed a possible reason why his character never reappeared, explaining, "...I taped a subway token on my forehead during rehearsals, and Cosby said, "'What's that?' I said, "'I'm the token white guy. They did not invite me back." In 2000, Weatherly was cast in the Fox drama Dark Angel, starring Jessica Alba as a genetically enhanced young woman with superhuman abilities. During the course of the show, the co-stars became a couple and eventually got engaged. Eyebrows, however, were raised due to the fact that Weatherly, then at age 30, was more than a decade older than his then 18-year-old co-star. Speaking about their eventual breakup, Alba told Cosmopolitan, "...it just didn't work out. I was so young, 18, when I started dating him. I was a virgin. I knew I wanted to be in love with the first first person I slept with because for almost everyone I knew, the first experience made them feel like Alba also admitted she found it difficult to be working alongside her significant other. After her experience with Weatherly, she said, "...I've decided I'll never date an actor again." In a tongue-in-cheek interview with TV Guide, Michael Weatherly recalled the various times he'd been misidentified as other actors, which turned out to not always be a bad thing. He explained how his resemblance to Sean Patrick Flannery resulted in a comped meal at Planet Hollywood. Instead of correcting them, Weatherly took advantage and ordered extra food, later saying, "...I had a feeling it was going to be free. And you know what? Thank you, Sean Patrick Flannery. Free lunch." Having a good sense of humor about it, he also joked with the publication about having a 93-year-old woman mistake him for George Peppard, the silver-haired A-Team star who died in 1994, while a blind person once thought he was Blair from Facts of Life. In addition to his work as an actor, Weatherly has also carved out a niche as a musician. As NCIS fans may recall, some of Weatherly's songs have appeared on soundtracks for the series and are also available on streaming platforms. He's also translated his songs into music videos. The 2013 video for his song Under the Sun appears on one of the NCIS soundtracks. In an interview with Music Times about that soundtrack, Weatherly said, "...Under the Sun is an interesting song. It has a strange group of meanings and a whole cluster of ideas about existential journeys and self-examination." According to Music Times, he began to write the song after 9-11, but ultimately crafted the lyrics to mark the exit of NCIS co-star Cody DePablo from the show. Viewers of NCIS no doubt noticed a change in Michael Weatherly's appearance between the series' 11th and 12th seasons. What happened was, uh, season 11 uh, last year of NCIS, uh, I just… I got fat. As the actor revealed in an interview with People, he'd embarked on a diet and fitness regime that resulted in shedding 35 pounds after a weight gain that led him to, quote, split five pairs of pants in season 11. He went on to explain, "...this is not an excuse, but the craft service table is not filled with a lot of super healthy options. Then you get to working late, there's pizza and Chinese food." Weatherly wound up enlisting the services of a trainer who shaped his exercise regimen and diet, which included pretty much eliminating carbs. The actor explained, "...I stayed away from pasta." Pasta, rice, bread, potatoes, anything that's fun to eat, I did not eat, and I pulled way back on alcohol consumption. All told, he was able to bring his weight from 240 pounds down to around 200. In November 2015, Weatherly was placed under arrest while driving in Hollywood at about 1 a.m. TMZ reported that the actor was pulled over by police for speeding, and the officers conducted tests that confirmed his blood alcohol exceeded the legal limit. Weatherly was booked and reportedly spent close to 15 hours in jail before he was released and charged with two counts of DUI. In a subsequent story the following January, TMZ reported that Weatherly issued a plea of no contest to the charges. He managed to avoid spending any additional time behind bars. Instead, he was reportedly sentenced to three years probation and ordered to undertake a three-month alcohol program. By June 2016, Weatherly completed all requirements imposed by the judge at his sentencing. 
In January 2016, fans of NCIS received the shocking news that Michael Weatherly was leaving the show. Speaking with TV Insider, Weatherly explained that there was no drama behind his exit. He simply felt that after 13 years portraying Tony Dinozo, he was done, joking, I meet 20-year-olds who were in first grade when we started. Basically, their entire lives they've known me as, hey, you're on television playing that guy. While he was heartened by starring on a TV show that was as successful as NCIS, he'd also come to realize, quote, that I probably had other things that I should be doing. As it turned out, Michael Weatherly's departure from television was a brief one. Two months after CBS confirmed his exit from NCIS, TV Line reported that the actor had signed on to star in Bull, a new drama series for the network based on Dr. Phil McGraw's pre-television career analyzing juries in court cases and making recommendations to lawyers. Well, Dr. Phil started his career doing he this. He had a company called CSI before there was a show CSI, uh -huh. and he looked into court sciences, and that's really a, a remarkable thing. However, Weatherly insisted that while it may have looked like he quit NCIS to star in his own show, that wasn't necessarily his initial plan. Speaking to reporters at the 2016 Television Critics Association summer press tour, he admitted he'd grown tired of the grueling NCIS shooting schedule. As for why he decided to jump from one one-hour drama to another, Weatherly said, I was burnt out by NCIS and I was ready for a new challenge. Sometimes change is as good as a rest. In the spring of 2017, CBS announced that actor Eliza Dushku was joining Bull in a recurring role, positioned to become a series regular. But instead, the New York Times later reported Dushku's character was written out of the show after she complained about being sexually harassed by Weatherly. She ultimately received a $9.5 million settlement. Weatherly issued a statement admitting he, quote, made some jokes mocking some lines in the script. Wow, you have no boundaries. Come on, I'm messing with you. Did you miss a sexual harassment seminar? Every year. He added, When Eliza told me that she wasn't comfortable with my language and attempt at humor, I was mortified to have offended her and immediately apologized. What I said was both not funny and not appropriate. Dushku, however, shared her version of events in a scathing op-ed for the Boston Globe, alleging Weatherly's misconduct was far more egregious than what he'd described, writing, The narrative propagated by CBS, actor Michael Weatherly, and writer-producer Glenn Gordon Karen is deceptive and in no way fits with how they treated me on the set of the television show Bull, and retaliated against me for simply asking to do my job without relentless sexual harassment. I took a job, and because I did not want to be harassed, I was fired. If you or anyone you know has been a victim of sexual harassment or assault, help is available. Visit the Rape, Abuse, and Incest National Network website or contact Rain's National Helpline at 1-800-656-HOPE-4673. When news broke about the accusations against Weatherly, there was further fallout. Most notably, reported USA Today, director Steven Spielberg, an executive producer on Bull, announced neither he nor his company, Amblin Entertainment, would have any further association with the show in the wake of Dushku's allegations. However, Weatherly was not without his supporters, as some of his former NCIS co-stars came forward to speak out on his behalf. Polly Perrette came to Weatherly's defense in a tweet, saying, "'This man I love, respect, trust, and I know. Two decades of friendship and respect. I love you, Michael Weatherly, always and forever." Another former co-star, Sasha Alexander, likewise supported Weatherly via Twitter, saying he was a, quote, "...true friend," though the tweet was later deleted. Weatherly portrayed Jesus Christ in a 2014 comedy video that contained a serious message. In the five-minute short titled Sarah Silverman is Visited by Jesus Christ, comedian Sarah Silverman speaks with Weatherly's Jesus about female reproductive rights while sharing a bowl of popcorn. Discussing the video with Rolling Stone, Silverman explained that she wanted to draw attention to efforts that were attempting to, quote, make abortion illegal. She added that her goal was, quote, to make something that was informational, though obviously with comedy. As one might expect, those with opposing viewpoints were predictably offended, as detailed by the Christian Post, by both the pro-choice message and the comedic depiction of the Son of God. Weatherly referenced the video in a tweet he issued shortly after its release, comparing Jesus to his NCIS character, writing, "...now that I know Jesus more, he is such a denozo." In September 2016, James Corden was shocked to see that a billboard on the side of a soundstage at CBS Television City in Los Angeles, which had previously featured his visage to promote The Late Late Show, had been changed. Instead, the billboard now featured Michael Weatherly's bull. As CBS noted, Corden jokingly grew irked at seeing Weatherly's, quote, face smirking down at him every day. Corden enlisted one of his show's writers to join him on a clandestine late-night mission, rappelling down the side of the building and spray-painting graffiti on the bull bill 
billboard in some revenge-fueled vandalism. Weatherly, however, exacted his own payback against Corden when he was later invited to appear on The Late Late Show. Assisted by his daughter Olivia and some Sharpies, Weatherly vandalized a poster of Corden hanging in a Late Late Show hallway, drawing glasses, forehead wrinkles, and facial hair on the photo of the British TV host. When Weatherly announced his departure from NCIS, one of the reasons he gave for his exit was a desire to pursue new creative opportunities. One of these was Jamaica Man, a 2017 documentary he'd directed. The film focuses on Nigel Pemberton, a British expat living in Jamaica. The film made its premiere at the prestigious Telluride Film Festival and was subsequently featured in numerous other film festivals. Among these was the Los Angeles Documentary Film Festival, where Jamaica Man won the award for Best Documentary Portrait. In addition, Weatherly's documentary won two two awards at the 2018 edition of the New York City Independent Film Festival, taking the honors for Best Documentary and Best Cinematography. Of course, acting is only one of the ways in which Weatherly earns money. In addition to his directing work, Weatherly is also a producer via his own production company, Solar Drive Productions, based at CBS Studios. In 2014, The Hollywood Reporter noted that Weatherly staffed up his production company with two key hires. Laura Lancaster, who had previously served as executive vice president of drama programming at NBC Entertainment, and Tiffany Grant, former head of development at Ping Pong Productions. In a joint statement, Weatherly and Lancaster said at the time, we're going to make inventive, adrenalized, powerful hit series in every platform available to us by partnering with the most forward-thinking visionary creators out there. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite TV stars are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.